I'm here at the Payload Operations Integration Center. Well, not exactly. This is an exhibit at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. This is home to Space Camp, and as you can see, that is the Space Camp training floor. But now, the U.S. Space and Rocket Center is home to Sally Ride Earth Cam. Scott Harbour joins me now. He is the project manager for Sally Ride Earth Cam. Scott, first of all, tell us about Earth Cam and how it came to be here at the Space and Rocket Center. Well, Earth Cam is an amazing opportunity for teachers and classrooms from all over the world to be able to actually utilize a science platform on the International Space Station to learn more about STEM. So they can, five to six times a year, they can go on board, or they can go on board through a web portal and actually request images based on the International Space Station's um, flight path. And that program came to us last July. Um, it has been a program and a platform that's been on board since 2001 and now is here at the um, U.S. Space and Rocket Center. We operate in conjunction with the University of Alabama in Huntsville and Teledyne Brown Engineering um, five to six times a year. So there is actually a camera on station that yes. they'll have to get out of stowage and then the students program just areas that they want pictures of, right? Correct. When they go in through um, earthcam.org, what they'll actually be presented with is the flight pass um, for, the, for a particular week of a time. And they can drop a pin and they'll get the longitude and latitude of that particular location. Um, and it's represented on a map. They then take that Latin long and they, then they put it onto a request form. That request form comes to us here. We turn it into a camera control file. We send it on station. Um, a laptop then controls the computer. It takes a picture. The picture comes back to us. We then send it back to uh, the classroom uh, along with a lot of activities that teachers can use to integrate that picture into the classroom. And EarthCam is about to cross a milestone. Tell EarthCam is about to cross a milestone. So each each operational window is a week long. And this, um, this window coming up, that'll be um, April 12th through the 16th, is our 52nd window, so our 52nd mission. So that's a year of EarthCam operations in space. So we're pretty excited about that. That's a lot of pictures. That is a lot of pictures. We've got close to about 100,000 pictures on our, our gallery right now. All are accessible any time of year, even if there isn't currently a mission going on. So there's a lot of activity and there's a lot of value of the program, even if we aren't currently taking pictures. And schools can still participate in this upcoming one, the 52nd one. Tell us how they can do that. Correct. So classrooms can sign up for a mission um, up to a couple of hours before the actual orbit occurs. Uh, so right now, teachers can go on and sign up for an account. Um, the week before the mission, they can sign up for the mission. Um, and they can pick those photos up to a couple hours before the orbit actually occurs. So we send up those camera control files um, on a daily basis. Give us that website again. That website is earthcam.org. It is www.earthcam, cam is spelled K-A-M, dot org. And you guys are actually using this temporarily, but there's a whole mission control you're building for this. Correct. We're going to use our POIC and our Science on Orbit um, exhibit for uh, Mission 52, but we are building out a dedicated mission operations center for EarthCam. It'll be tied to a computer observation lab that students will be able to use to be able to interact with the EarthCam images, but also images from other observational platforms that are pointed out into space as well. All right. A big opportunity for everyone. Can't wait to see some of those pictures. Thank, Thank you. you.